This is Susie Sue, and I'll be talking to Katie and Alistair about my new single and first solo album. Plenty more to come tonight, including Susie Sue, the first princess of punk. She's here in the studio with us, and we talk about her, frankly, amazing new single. She was a princess of punk music. Her jet black hair, her heavy mascara, were a look that goths and glams copied for years, and lots of them still do, actually. In fact, despite uh, taking years to get signed and get her big break, Susie Sue quickly earned herself a devoted following, and now they will be thrilled to know that she is back. Just as challenging as ever, here's a look at her new single, Into a Swan. And Susie Sue is here, looking amazing on screen and off, if you see what Bye. I mean, on that clip Thank and you. here. <laughs> it was great fun making that video um, with new video directors, um, Harvey and Caroline. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was a one-day shoot, crammed it all in. Yeah. And you're watching it really, really closely because you, you didn't get a huge close-up look at it all while the work was going through. No, well, I, I saw the offline and um, there was a few adjustments to be made and by then I was back in France, so it was sent to me on the computer and I s literally saw the whole video about the size of a postage <laughs> stamp. So, OK, I think that's about well, right. We can play it again so to you later, <laughs> actually, on the big screens. Big. <laughs> it's great to see it big. So I can't quite believe you've recorded so many albums, but this is your first solo one. Yes, first yes. solo. Um, I mean, I come from wor working as part of a band, so I guess it's it's something that I always felt, well, that's the only way to do it. Um, um, for this, I, I think probably the idea of going under the name of Susie and doing something solo probably happened around the time that I did the festival hall shows in yeah. end of 2004, and we had this amazing orchestra. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was so fantastic working live with an orchestra and getting the, the two-way connection and with people that I've never worked with before. So that kind of, you know, finally the DVD came out a year later of the show. Um, it went in at number one, which was fantastic. Um, and then it was just... Uh, Basically, I decided I just wanted to work with nobody else that I'd worked with before. Can I remind you that about 30 years ago, there was a danger of working with quite a lot of people. Uh, this, this was in a studio, I think it was in Yorkshire, with, a, with, a, with an old fella I knew quite well called Bill Grundy. You're still working as we've just celebrated. He isn't anymore. Um, th I don't th there you are. He's living anymore, yeah. is he? A beautiful blonde on the top row. Yes. But who, and, 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 and Johnny. And the sex and pistols Steve. and what have you. And note how we didn't play the sound to that because it was reasonably controversial. Well, we couldn't. Some of the uh, language used. Still, used wasn't it? There, there, yeah. there were about three words in it that didn't begin with F, and the rest of it had to end up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> do, do you actually remember that era? Because I did read somewhere that that you don't really go in for the kind of you know punk icon and what have you. You don't like all of that. Well, I mean that was a long time yeah. ago, and and it was of the moment, and I. You know, I'm forever battling with an industry that it seems to be forever looking backwards. And yeah. but that moment was, in many respects, a defining moment because it was, you know, it was traditional TV. telly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> traditional TV presenters, grey-haired men in yes. suits versus yes. beautiful women dressed as punks. Yes. Well, that was then. This is now. It's great to see you, and good luck with the new album. We've got to leave. We could chat for ages, but we've got to leave it there, unfortunately. All right. But He's thank gone. You. You're still recording, Susie. I'm yeah. still here.